Agora TV. The world is thinking. And uh, you, for instance, uh, you know, your eyesight isn't great, so you wear glasses. Uh, things like this, do you think um, we're affecting evolution in a negative way? Well, um, I'm, I'm 68 years old, and therefore, um, it, I mean, anybody of my age has to, wear, has to wear glasses. Genetically, I have rather good eyesight. I mean, I didn't actually need glasses until I was about um, 50. Um, and so, um, but you're quite right that there are many people who do need glasses uh, at a young age, and, and that probably is a, a genetic defect. And uh, that's a comparatively trivial one, although in the world of nature, if you were um, uh, so um, short-sighted that you couldn't see an approaching saber-toothed tiger, um, uh, then ob I mean, there's obvious survival value in, in having good, good eyesight. Um, by the time you reach my age, you're past reproduction age anyway, and so it doesn't matter. Um, that's a serious point. Um, uh, after all, if you, if you think about it, genes for, genes for having bad eyesight when you're 20, those genes end up in the bellies of saber-toothed tigers. Genes for developing bad eyesight when you're 50 have already made it through to the next generation before they end up in the belly of a saber-toothed tiger. Um, so um, the older a bad gene shows itself, the more chance it has of being passed through the sieve of the generations into the future before it gets clobbered. And that probably is, in a nutshell, the explanation for why the older we get, the more decrepit we get. The older we get, genes that have made it through the generations, because they didn't develop their bad qualities until late in life, we are a kind of dustbin of um, genes that are uh, good when young, but, but not, not, not when old. Okay, that's great.